Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And not much to speak of. Call it. yard gain up to the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A give to Jones. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they played extremely well last week and they went over Atlanta. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, and maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try to keep your quarterback upright. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. Circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On play action, they'll throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going deep this time for Miller. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. On is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. 
Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. This is McCaffrey on the give. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. First down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. throw here escaping the pressure right on the run he'll let it go deep right sideline and incomplete on the deep ball a deep ball down that right sideline and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was
this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. They'll set up a throw. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Working with his second and four. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And some room to work. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Oh, we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Here we go now on first and goal. throw toward the end zone but that's gonna wind up incomplete oh i like that right there not only was it the right play throwing it away like that frankly i think it was the only play yeah got outside of the pocket realized he had nothing just chucked it free yeah lived to fight another down right second and six and it's intercepted at the goal line Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Bucs will take over here at their own 14 yard line. So, this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Now a throw here to his running back. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Again, this to Jones. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Back to throw now on first down. Throw right side, caught by O.J. Howard. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 
Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on his team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in a defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. And you end up getting the first down. A check down here to Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They're going to look to throw. Caught on the slant. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. He's going to look deep for more, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. He's going to try and go deep again, and he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a second and seven. He rifles one. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. second year in the league as a quarterback but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape he's like ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball no doubt about it and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball but remember second year as you noted on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward flushed out right on the run he'll let this go deep right side and now this is intercepted my goodness Picked up by Grant Delpit, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime here on a Thanksgiving night as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Both these teams getting a chance to dry out, maybe change their cleats if need be, but halftime's just about over. Time to get back to it. And for the call of the second half, here's Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
to this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, trying to get things settled down a little bit. 66 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. McCaffrey. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. He'll look to throw. And down he goes. A Buccaneer sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. Second down, another shot for Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On first down, it's Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he is going to have a Bucs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Back to throw here. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They go play action here on first down. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. 
It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And the Panthers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. A big play there on the catch and run. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. I think he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Escaping the pressure right. Going for it all. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Stevenson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Running right through him. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We are headed to the fourth here on Thanksgiving night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. From the two now, second and goal. McCaffrey, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, 
didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Looking to throw. And he's able to find Miller. Touchdown! Scotty Miller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Buccaneers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all. They've got his man complete. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for Carolina. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now back to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They'll set up to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. McCaffrey turned away on fourth and goal. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds again. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. As to you said big third down, I'd put the word big in capital letters here. And that's a much needed completion right there on third down. Really a sigh of relief, isn't it? They're backed up deep. You know they don't want to give the ball back to the other guys with great field position. They needed that throw, that completion, that first down. 
And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Throw right side taken in by Godwin. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? He's got his man. It's White. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. And he'll be taken down here. And that is how this one is going to come to an end. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And they did it 